Hello, gamers! I think, I think, are we? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I'll make it sure it's, everything's okay, 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 okay. Everything's okay, except the game isn't showing up. That is fine, I will do that in a second. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, there it is, but it's probably not. Oh, that works. I need to rescale it. Work my magic. Hi, Alex. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're gaming. It's time to play Persona 4. Let's go. Like, it's a great game. My favorite. Over here, I might have to stream you. Uh, 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 okay. Meanie. Ignore that. I'm just gonna skip everything. Uh, let, we'll play on normal this time, I guess. Well, not this time. <laughs> I think I played very easy on my first time, but yeah. I'll do normal. Very hot. No. No. We're not doing it very hard. No. My tracking is going crazy. It's the game. It's the, the game's lagging. That's why. I think. Yeah. Game's taking up resources, okay? And it's kind of hot in my room. So, yeah. Hopefully we, uh, don't have any copyright issues with the VOP. Uh, I hope not. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Nice. Nice. <laughs> Welcome to I'm sorry, I'm slurping. Wow, I was drinking. I just want my... I just froze. More characters lagging. Ah. Okay. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Chuckle. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Okay, I can do that. Is my name too long? Actually, no, I don't think it will. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Liver... Okay, and then... How do I go... How do I... Oh, okay. Libby. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> hmm, I see. Yes. Now, let's take I'm a look into your on. future, shall we? My future. Okay. Do you believe in fortune telling? Uh, I don't know. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. Interesting. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? I guess so. Um, also another thing, I'm gonna try not talking, like, during the, um, dialogue. So you can, you guys can, uh, actually hear it. I don't want to drown out the dialogue, you know? So, yeah. Tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Uh oh. It's not good. The card indicating the future beyond that is. The moon in the upright position. 
This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Sheesh. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Whoa. immediately get blessed with Risu. Rise, my god. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rise, it's Rise. I get confused sometimes. I can... Juicy news. First he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the Where's the subtitles? Well, the captions. Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, it's guys. Your boy. Not done yet. Going to a different school, different area, new friends. New family. At the Yasugami terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known teacher. Oh. Should we go soon? Yes, just about. Yes. Yes. Ah, my ears ring. Tell me if you like my voice acting. <laughs> Joking. It's bad. I know. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Why is my tracking going crazy? I do be like that today, I guess. <laughs> hey, over here. Over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome Dang. to Inaba. Thanks. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Wow. It's nice to meet you. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? Wow. Interesting to know. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. 
slow. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> Well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You dropped this. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. <laughs> What's wrong? Oops, I should probably read those, huh? <laughs> oh no, my bitrate went down a bit. <clears throat> it's fine now. Well, hopefully I don't have too many of those bitrate dips. Oh, I should have read that again. Hi. I'm sorry. Mo. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? It's in the back to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. That's inaccurate because I hold my chopsticks in my left hand because I'm left handed. Hm. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Hmm. <laughs> really? Are you in high school? Yeah. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? No. There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Interesting. I have to keep that in mind. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Nice. Oh, I should get back to work. Yeah, probably should. We're on the clock. Nanako is looking at you. Okay. Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Uh, I'm just tired. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. <clears throat> Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, sure. Dun, 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 dun. Absolute banger of a song, by the way. Tell me why you did it. Hmm, have we met before? I met you just now. Just now? Hmm, okay. Da, 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 da. The girl is thinking to herself. Hmm, you have something to do in this shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Juness hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's also a little sad. Hmm. Can I talk to them? Yeah. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. Huh. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Oh, I'm gonna go to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. I seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Yeah. Good idea. Mm-hmm. I like to shop. It's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Interesting. Oh, I should probably not wander off too far. We should probably save though, huh? There we go. 
my old save. <laughs> um, okay. Nico seems worried about you. Yeah, fun. Are you feeling ready to get back in the car? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Very nice. All right, let's have a toast. All right, let me get my monster real quick. <laughs> Cheers. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Yes, sir. Uh, right. <laughs> Are you into military stuff? Well, anyway, let's see. <laughs> Can I just not say uh, yes, sir? <laughs> who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Hmm. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Imagine. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Depressed Nanako. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Find yourself alone with Nanaka. You might want to strike up a conversation. Um, it must be tough. It's always like this. My dad's a detective. Hmm. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female uh, reporter. My hair is getting in my way. I'm His sorry. wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. Hmm. This is boring. Yeah, it is. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. <laughs> Aren't you going to eat? Calendar. Okay. Fried rice. And leave it alone, I guess. I guess we should go into my room and check it out. Huh? It's the room you're borrowing from Dojima. 
<clears throat> a lot of boxes everywhere. That's for sure. Tired from a long trip. You should rest. Oh, okay. I guess pack unpacking can wait. Go to sleep. Yes. We'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Where are we? <laughs> this is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Hmm. It's just fog. Very foggy, can't see anything. Well, forgot the camera's inverted. But if you, forget if you can change that. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. Okay, guess we'll keep going, eh? You sent someone up ahead. Will you continue? Well, I have no other option. Hi, Sleepy! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Who is that? So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Try all you like. I, uh... Just going right into an attack. Hmm, it seems that you can see a little despite the fog. I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. But you will not catch me so easily. <laughs> At work right now, watching you. Thank you. <laughs> What you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Oh no. <coughs> Tax will connect. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. <coughs> will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm, hmm. I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. Hmm. Hmm. I can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready. Oh, it's Nanako. It's almost time to get up. What is this game about? Uh. Ah. Uh, uh. It's kind of complicated. I guess. Um, basically, like, the town is covered in fog, and you have to, like, figure out what's going on. It's kind of like a mystery, kind of like solving kind of thing. It's not really, I mean, that's what the story is about, but, like, you, um, do a lot of, like, exploring, I guess, in, like, dungeon kind of things. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head into the living room for now. Yes. It has, like, a combination of, like, uh, like... Good morning. Ordinary school life and, like, doing other stuff. To this, like, kind of... I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's eat. Uh, do you do the cooking? I can toast bread. And cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat, ugh, somewhat restless. Decided to head to school with Nanako. Okay.
school zone, Samagawa floodplain. You keep going straight from here. Thanks. My school's this way. Bye. She's very helpful. <laughs> school zone intersection in front of the school. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Pain student. That looked painful. You should leave him be. <laughs> okay. Ignores him. You can have fun with that. <laughs> You've arrived at the main gates of Yasugami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, yeah. I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring, doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long <laughs> as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Okay. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Dang. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Wow. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any uh, ideas about hitting on him. Oh, what? Uh, Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you all. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? What? what? Now listen up. <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> this town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. Why would I? What do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time what? I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. <laughs> my places? Mr. Moroka Mor goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? <laughs> huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So right. hurry up and sit down already. Oh, I, 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 okay. I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm sitting down. <laughs> He's the worst, huh? Yeah, seems like it. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. <laughs> yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? Guess we'll find out. Ah, 
That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Good. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. What? Ugh. You heard the announcement. <laughs> Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. But I want to go home. Come on now. You have to stay here after school. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Uh oh. Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Fog? Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Confidential. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. sheesh. How much longer is this going to take? <laughs> There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Ah, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. Can we go home now? There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Finally. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Okay. I I'm repeat. Gonna. Incident? Incident? What? Something oh, actually no. happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Uh... I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> hey, are you going home by yourself? Yeah. Why don't you come with us? Okay, I guess. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? You do? <laughs> of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. <laughs> Why is it so too bad? Don't take a look. Yeah. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. No. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And... I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> ah! Oh. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. <laughs> Mine's cracked too. <laughs> Critical hit to the net. Uh, uh, are you all right? <laughs> I don't think he is. <laughs> oh, Yukiko-san, are you worried about me? <laughs> He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Ditch him? <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> Looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. What? I. I, I just leave him be. He's in pain. Leave him. <laughs> You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? What? Wh who are you? <sighs> What's up with Yawning him? all the time. Who's he from? Uh. Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? 
Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Amagi challenge? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Good Fine. idea. Fine! What, what did he want from me? A date. What did he want? DMs. Uh, obviously he was asking... <clears throat> huh? Oops. I didn't really? mean to do that. You really had no clue? Sheesh. Sheesh. I'm sorry. Then again, <laughs> that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. True. Reminds me of a anime where Yo, character Yukiko says son. Yuki Turned a lot. Down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. <laughs> Dang. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. <laughs> Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer. Cycling student. His name just changes. <laughs> We're just curious is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Ugh. <sighs> I keep yawning. It's so annoying. <laughs> Why does yawning exist? Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? Uh, looks like it, based on the background of the That's scene. What makes it nice. <laughs> but Just there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! Hidden treasure? It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Whoa. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, uh I think so, yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird. Huh? Kind of sus. I'm sorry. Come on, stop it. Little sussy you, you wussy. Don't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. <laughs> Trying to match make or something friends like this. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, but this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? What is that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. What? Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Took what down? Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Oh. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Oh, shit. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, just walking by. We're just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? <laughs> yeah, I live with him. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. <laughs> uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Oh, 
Okay. Adachi. <laughs> you good, you gamer? Like you wanna... uh, Oops. I skipped it again. Oh. <sighs> go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? <sighs> yeah, probably. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Uh, hey, Yukiko, let's, let's not know what that means. Some other time. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. All right, then we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Okay. The two of them left. Decide to head away from the crime scene. <laughs> okay. The music is such a vibe, though. Guess we go here. Return home, I guess. I don't have anything else to do, right? I wonder if Dad's move, not coming maneuver home myself. Tonight. Probably not. Seemed like he was Our busy. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Oh, the school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Yeah. <sighs> Are you worried about him? Uh-uh. It's his job, so things like this happen. True. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. It seems that the local TV station, eh, the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasugami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, oh, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every, every day is great at your Juness. <laughs> every day is great at your Juness. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. <laughs> You're a good singer. One of my class. Well, that's something to flex about, yeah? Aiko sings the song to herself over and over again. <laughs> Seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Very good. That's good. That's good. You're still tired from getting used to your new life. You should return to your room and rest. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Someone! <laughs> Rolling student. What? They just keep changing his name. <laughs> Maybe you should help him. Finally! We're not leaving him. <laughs> <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Yosuke seems to be all right. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. If 
think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Maybe you're right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. True. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. I think that's illegal. <laughs> Can't ride, ride doubles. With only one seat. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any uh, common sense? <laughs> First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes when, while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that's curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Nice. I like getting smarter. So, are you getting used to this place? Hmm. What, Alex? Uh, yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. I'm bored. But Watch my stream. <laughs> something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean. The food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? <laughs> He does not let that go. You always come around when I'm talking about food. <laughs> How bad it, Yukiko? Lovey dovey day. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. Same. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Wow, Yukiko san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? <laughs> Junets, food court. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, <laughs> they don't have grilled steak here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, well, dun, 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 once you hopped on the freeloader train, Livy? I had to change my plans. Uh, I guess that works. Still, that's Similar. to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. <laughs> Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. Imagine using emotes that aren't mine. Am I right? No, I'm joking. <laughs> this location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can you get me some food? No. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, get your own uh... food. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> Thank you. My emotes. Let's go. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Who's that? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I think she's working mm -hmm, here part time, mm -hmm, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. Same. Up, 
Sana chan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. <laughs> Kidding yeah. aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Lasagna is good. Are you a transfer student? Oh, it must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. <laughs> he doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> Ah, uh, nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just I had you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Senpai. Tips my fedora. Like that. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the midnight? I'm just channel? vibing to the music. You're supposed right now? to look into a TV that switched off alone. Exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. Ha, <laughs> I wish. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? You're just as fast as you can. Uh. Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? Why? <laughs> he needed to laugh. <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Very true. All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the midnight channel where no, where one can see one soulmate on a rainy night. Well, I need to, to find out how to get the midnight channel. Like, I don't know. I, I, I need to see that right now. You know, <laughs> you should try it out. To, uh, 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 it's not raining tonight, but. <laughs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Uh, did your father call? No, he always says he will. Eventually, he will. Probably. Oh, he's home! There he is. The legend himself. <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Literally nothing. No, you're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. 
Uh, I mean, maybe at his school. It's the class? Oh. Yeah, I've never had that kind of class in my school. I had, like, Can you an in-school the therapist, but that was it. It's a food and wellness class. Interesting. Talk about Next, healthy food. Healthy food. <laughs> developing story on the incident in Foggy Inu. I do not eat healthy food at all. Announcer Mayumi Honestly, Yamano's dead body horrible. was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with a councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu, Mis, Misuzu Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover, lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this we, relationship we won't really and question know. any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? <laughs> yeah. I, I also forgot what I learned in school. Already graduated. That's nice. Uh, I I I never graduated. <laughs> uh, sadly, I didn't graduate high school. She had a poster. Oh, uh, I see. The female student's face and voice are indistinct. We feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy Last day? School. Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke Senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about I'll losing customers as a result. Mm. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. See a lot of suspicious things in the stream points at me. What? Why? What did I do? What? Me? Sus? It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> why, why am I sus? I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? You are suspicious of selling drugs to elderly. I'm not! I, what? When did I, when did I ever sell drugs to the elderly? Alex is really young. Oh, young lad. Tax I mean, I, I'm to a like a little bit older than him. Not by much, though. I'm 19, so... Not too far off. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is customer oh, appreciation day. Come see for yourself <laughs> yeah. and get in touch <laughs> with young. our products. Every, every day, day is great at your Juness. Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? Mm. No? Sleeping. <sighs> she needs to be asleep. Jeez. Pants. Whoever's head wants that pants.
the rain falls into the night. You're reminded that you made a promise to check out, to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Watch TV in your room? Yep. You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? Guess we'll find out. Who's that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. Oh, shit. I don't study at all. I just got sucked into the TV. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah. I think. Did I wake you up? Yeah, studying hurt my brain. I just couldn't. Like, I tried studying whenever I was in school. Because, like, I had really bad grades. And, um... I, uh... Tried to, uh, study, like, multiple times. So, like, I can actually, you know, get good grades. And, like, I would sit there for, like, hours trying to study. And it would just not work. And I got, like, mad and sad and depressed. And, like... Yeah, my teachers wouldn't really help me. And, uh, ultimately I dropped out of high school for numerous reasons. That's kind of one of the reasons, but there were a lot of other reasons, you know. I'm doing okay at the moment, but, you know, getting uh, a little bit stressed about, um, just life stuff, I guess. Just need a gamer key out the cover here. I, I think... Everyone needs someone to cuddle with, okay? Not just me. Well, good night. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? We decide to talk ab about it with the others tomorrow. Just get stressed when you come into his room. No, that's not true at all. What are you talking about? Sorry. She forced herself under your umbrella. Get the fuck out of my umbrella. <laughs> oh, seems like her. By the way, did you see it? Uh, see what? She wants to chat. <laughs> you know, the thing we were talking about yesterday, that midnight channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. True. Uh, um. It's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Well, yeah. You thought I was going to say she wanted to deep now. Uh. Don't worry about. It. Huh? Are you sure? Thanks. 
If you say so, then I guess it's okay. Thanks. Come on. Race. <laughs> All right, let's go. Awek. Rack. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko uh, Sofue, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for uh, lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ha ha ha. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Libera, please stand up. It's really? Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? Well, that's pretty easy. 1 BC? You gave the answer you think is correct? I seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 1 AD would be a natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on a Julian calendar. Julian, I don't know. Which was made while there was no concept of the zero, uh, of the zero, yeah, of the zero, uh, zero uh, as a number. <laughs> okay, <laughs> That's why when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. That was a pain to read. That's what it was. You gave the correct answer. Thanks. <laughs> Jumps out the window. What? You good? Your knowledge has increased. What's up with the body being hung upside Me, down? Okay. It's so freaky. I don't know. Same. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. Ah, uh, yes. I told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo. Um, it's, a, uh, it's not really that important, but, well, yesterday on TV, I, uh, Crab! <laughs> you're scared. Uh, uh that's yeah, great. That's great. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be. Fuck. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm <laughs> sorry. Just saying it. Yep, I did. <laughs> I don't know music. It's kind of a big song. It's kind of a well known song. It's by Linkin Park, which is also a well known band as well. So. <laughs> Kind of hard I to... guess they're running her ragged. <laughs> it's kind of hard. To... Yeah. By the way, did you see it last night? Wait, like, I don't know music that well either, but I knew that one. Huh? It's also kind of a meme. Old song for old people like me. You're not old. Get out of here. What, what about you? I it's did. a good song. I okay. Saw a girl. I was gonna say. But... I was gonna say something really weird. But I'm not What's going... that supposed to be? tell who it was but it was a girl for sure 26 that's not old at all honestly her hair was brown about shoulder length she was wearing our school uniform and hey i think that's the same person i saw i couldn't make out that much detail though the image i saw was much blurrier wait so you saw it too and we saw the same girl did does that mean we have the same soulmate? Uh, How should maybe? I know? <laughs> How about you? Did you see it? Yeah, I did. We told them about what happens last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? 
No, I well, literally got sucked into my TV. TV. I'm not even tripping. I didn't. Dream, I'm though. not high. Okay, I wasn't high when this happened. Okay, I it, like it the happened. Part where you got stuck because your TV was too small? <laughs> That's pretty realistic. Yeah, because if it, it happened. Been bigger. We could oh, go in it. That reminds me, our family's been talking about buying a from bigger Ireland? TV. <laughs> <Ireland>. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're picking <laughs> no. up our electronics department this month. <laughs> Not, whenever someone says lad, it doesn't mean they're automatically from Ireland. <laughs> oh, damn. My parents don't know anything Not about electronics. He knows where I'm from. We're my from the same country. Movies so. on the big screen. Oh. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decided to go to Juness with the others. Okay. Juness, electronics department. Wow! This is huge! Close enough. Hey, holy crap, it's expensive. <laughs> is it? I don't know. Shit. Rich folks? I keep fucking skipping it. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. That's that super far. Then, I guess. <laughs> well, at least looking's free. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's <laughs> the newest model just released this spring. What? I must start my Bugatti to get some sweatpants and sweatshirts slash hoodies. What? What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right <laughs> off the bat. Cheap. You got connections, right? Come Give on, me a 100% yes. discount. You know I can't do that. <laughs> like a hey, how about this one kid. over here? It's a display. He's not. It's a little old, He's not but... red. See, I'm weird. Leave me alone. <laughs> you have a Bugatti. You don't have a Bugatti. Like, I know you have a better car than me, but still. <laughs> it's not a Bugatti. <laughs> With a TV this week, you really might be able to go inside. He has Bugatti gasp. <laughs> Oh yeah. What kind of TV sure. do you sure, sure. use? Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? <laughs> is his arm in the TV? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? I, like, like with a, a new I don't think it is. Let's go room room. Ah yes. Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? We we go to 300 miles. An no, that is highly illegal and very unsafe. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic. Safe driver, sure. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? I don't have a car, so I require a car to be here. <laughs> yeah. Both of them are staring at you astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Daddy, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! Going in. There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean inside? What are you doing, Stilt 
<laughs> Seems very spacious in here. What you mean? What do you oh mean my spacious? God. I mean, what's going on? Taro. Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you going to pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Don't go there. Okay, yeah. Uh, run. Shit. Customers, they're coming. Thanks for coming what? back to let us know. <laughs> Wait, uh, ah! Well, we're in the TV now. Nice. <laughs> I guess. Ow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside you, Ness? <laughs> oh, is it? I mean, God, fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Like how you guys are just like vibing while I'm like that <laughs> play <like> this. <laughs> Please watch your head. Oh yes, it is a very low car. <laughs> so uh we're still alive, right? Maybe, hopefully. Are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. I think my. Uh, of Nothing. It is. Never mind. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? Probably. No, stupid. Look around. Is this. A studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? <laughs> There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> You're legit role playing in my fucking chat. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, I don't have a rule against it, so I guess it's fine. Uh, let's look around, I guess. Huh? But, but Sleepy loves RP. Does she? Look, we need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. <laughs> oh, you know. What? That can't be right. My How deepest secret. <laughs> I see you love the RPS. What? <laughs> Debatable. I don't know. I'd say it what really has me? to be with the right person for me to RP with. I guess. I don't know. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Uh, let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. No, it's we need not to find one. Too. Okay, okay. Let's calm down and think about this. Are you guys like, are, no, we're not. We have never met, but we know each other for a while, like a few years. All right, so we need to find a way out. Yeah, five, it's been five years. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Really, a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. <laughs> That's true, but if there's no exit, we're trapped. So let's cross our fingers and look around. Early 2017. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. <sighs> Looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? 
I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. Know everything about people. Uh, do you? Twelve years old. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he was twelve years. Old. I don't remember how old we were, honestly, when we met. I know, but. Yeah. Well, if I had a guess, hold on. Um, um, I don't know. I think it was like. I don't know. Seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? It definitely is. No service. What a surprise. You guys grew up together. Yeah, basically, yeah. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. I actually had like a friend that I like Tra genuinely grew Tra up together Tra with. Like, I have went through a major life event with it's and a, all, a lot There's of stuff no but um i am not friends with him anymore it keeps getting because, creepier and creepier um, the further we go he, he later on he like started hanging out with like <laughs> other people and those other people were like kind of toxic so he became longer. toxic and yeah i just like ended it basically because he would be toxic to me and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yosuke, but yeah, he's. Doing? I'd say he's like the longest friend I have now. My introvert, so I don't have Twitter or any social media. Last time, I don't have friends to. <laughs> now, I don't have many IRL friends to be honest. I'm an introvert as well, and like I also You're get like here? very oh, um. I have like and so social anxiety and just regular anxiety too. It's just uh, yeah. But whenever I stream, I even actually I like kind of like talk to people. I guess better. People just don't like me. Same. Uh, do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Yeah. I'm weird too. We're all Wait, weird in our own way. That, that is what makes us us, you know? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate yeah, this person. I have person. social anxiety, so I use streaming to try and be more confident. Yes. It's very nice, though. It's, it's weird because, like, I feel like Dude, I can talk to people online way better world? than just people, that like, kind of IRL. I can kind of talk to people, um,. Like, at work kind of thing, because I work retail, so, like, sometimes I have to talk to people, but, like, I'm okay, I guess, with talking to people like that, but, like, yeah, I don't know. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on! Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. True, true. It's easy talking to people online. Yes. It's also very dangerous sometimes. Uh, well, eh. I've seen that poster before. Who cares? I've had my fair share of like bad like experiences online, I'd say. And I'm not feeling so good. It was mostly like you mention it online too. relationships though, so yeah. Not mostly like friendships or anything. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! Our experiences is all right. We finally made it back from... here. Yep. All those really bad experiences have made me into a better person. So. Wait. What's that? And sometimes I look There's back and 
laugh at him. I'm now too old to care and just show. Yeah. I mean, you only have one life. Might as well live it to the fullest. Enjoy yourself. Don't uh, keep looking back at things. You know. I don't know. What is this thing? <laughs> a monkey? A bear? What in a the bear? World? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked. Talked. No way. Well, what are you? You want to fight? <laughs> want to fight? The, don't yell at me like that. This poor man. He's getting yelled at. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What are you? <laughs> I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? <laughs> if I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. I'll wrap myself up in a blanket. We're hey, all chilling here, problem? huh? What gives you the right I would wrap myself in a like blanket that? too, but it's actually extremely hot in my room because my door is closed, my fan is off, and my PC. I've been gaming what are you? Um, all day, Where so PC is basically a heater heating my room. What the heck is going on here? I already told you. <laughs> Anyways. You should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. I'm so hot these days, no blanket for me. It's been, like, extremely cold where I am. Wait. And, like... What? At... Because I work, like, outside, so, like, I have to be in that cold, usually. I usually am, like, what the hell? evening as well, so it's, Where like, did those cold. TVs come it's really from? cold during the evening. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Stop pushing! Oh, huh? Sniffles. Sniffs. Is Sniffs? This? Sniffles? I don't know. Did we make. Oops. Fucking did it again. Oh my god. I am our daily limited okay. time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Uh, I, I, I keep, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to keep skipping it. <laughs> Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for I dinner I need time. auto, I forget what the auto button is. All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. That's not auto. Is that auto? It's already that late? I don't know what auto button is. Is that auto? That's not auto. <gasps> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. I don't know what the auto button is. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the auto button is. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean... That weird room we saw. Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. 
I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I'm not playing with I don't keyboard. Think my poor heart can take anymore. That's fast forward, not auto. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Evening. Good evening, lovely. Hey, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. <laughs> oh God. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Bit sus. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. That's a bit sus and scary. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Stole her? Damn. What? Damn, Daniel. I'm sorry. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. It's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh, yes. The Amagi Inn. Their hot springs Is are bug first in my rate. Ow. Don't you hate that? The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. And news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? No. Give it some more time. You sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. I'm sick. I don't know. Nanako, I've could you get him some cold sick. medicine? I don't think, at least. You should get to bed after you take it. Oh, no, really, but it's gone now. That's good. <laughs> Let's hope it stays gone. <laughs> Hour and 32 minutes. Feels like you should rest early today. Yes. It's black and big. That's it. That's what she said. Oh. Dang. A cockroach. Oh, oh, hell no. It's horrible. Wow. That is okay. I'm not going to get banned for showing that, am I? No, it has Stinger. What the? Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Stinger. A beetle? Small? I don't know. Don't you mind left the house? Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Hanukkah looks worried. Beetles don't have stingers. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Does it have pinchers? You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming like a by. Mosquito, but big. You live by the police station, don't you? A bigger Did you hear mosquito? <laughs> I don't know. I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. 
Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. Oh, wasps. How else oh. are we supposed to get the juicy stories? That's great. Don't you love when wasps come in your house? It's happened to me before. You hear sirens nearby. Seems there's been an accident. Incident. You decide to head to school. There was one in my, uh, like, living room one time, and there was even one that, like, hey, came into my room yesterday? through my window. I'm like, oh, shit. Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it I seems like a lot what? of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. Or a yellow and black. Hmm. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's There's nothing. Black wash. Hmm. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal Rock! has something to oh, say. That was actually okay. It was only like one second of the audio that I skipped. It's okay. I hope. But you didn't have one. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. F. Passed away? Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. I'm sad now. I don't know what my sad button is. That's my mad button. <laughs> What's my sad button? That's that's my happy button. <laughs> What's that? No, that's my spot. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay, I, I don't know. If they ask you for your cooperation, <laughs> I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. That's right, Matt. Oh, wrong one. That's that's not. Oh, that that's kind of. I guess that. Yeah. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <laughs> Or Yosuke. The principal's address continues. I'm gonna Discord message, I think, but she I can't the same way really as look at it. Right? It's so creepy. I think I got a Discord message. Got a ping, I think. Well, hmm. last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone I was trying to pole. grab my phone, but I remembered my phone is kind of what's giving me Facebook tracking right now. <laughs> Uh, it's got to be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. From a Google. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her non-stop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Saki on the brain. Sake on the brain. Am I right, gamers? I'm it's joking. easy to toss around theories. I'm not an not alcoholic. I can't be an alcoholic. I can't drink alcohol. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Not Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and... Just steal the alcohol. I think the girl oh, on yes. the screen was Saki-senpai. Yeah, you're kind of late to guessing that. I thought, I always thought it was her. It really looked like There's her. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. 
What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV <gasps> die? No way. I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you- Oops. Um, you may- you might be right. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. D don't do this! You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Dear fly. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. Kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Uh, go with Yosuke, I guess. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Uh, would you like to save your progress thus far? Yes. Yes, I would. I would like to. I'm gonna check my came. phone battery real quick. Hold on. Oh, we're good. We are great. Do we're doing great, actually, on phone battery. Okay. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on. You really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe isn't good enough. Look, fuck! I can't just act like again. everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. Where is it at? No, not that one. I did it again. That's true. I'm having but... too much fun with the thing now. My uh, emotions. What I'm you? having so much you fun using my emotions, expressing myself. Uh, I can't leave it alone. Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. Thanks. Golf club and medicine. Okay. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey! I said 
Going in. Touch the rope. What rope? <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't gonna work. Now what? Is this? Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. Hmm. That means you're the most suspicious. Sus. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Hell no. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing mm -hmm. people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Li Didn't work. What? <laughs> hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. How won't you investigate with us? I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Proof? How do we prove See? something we so didn't do? So it is, do? you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. Yeah, please do. A dead body? Okay. Whenever okay. the fog yeah, appears? I don't know what you mean. I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts, that's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? Get what? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. <laughs> I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Exactly. Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprits. It's us. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Umpty Dumpty. Oh! I guess it kind of uh, looks like him. 
I I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Yeah, I knew who Humpty Dumpty is. <laughs> I don't. This world has always been like this. No one what? has ever done that filming thing here. Always been like this? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Suspicious. Maybe you're the real guy. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. You don't want to see what's under. are you it, it's empty inside just like me oh yeah me the culprit i wouldn't do such a thing i just live here i just want to live here peacefully <sighs> okay i'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits but i want you to find the real guy who did all this you have to stop him. Okay, that's kind of what we wanted to do anyway, right? Promise me. Or else. Or else. <laughs> I'm not going to let you guys out of here. You little. This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then. And then. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you really have to ban them because I don't think they count towards live views, just saying. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Mysterious Bear is asking me to find the culprit behind this. The one on the outside is throwing people into this world. The culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. A mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? The bottom of crypto? Oh, is it? You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? Well, what was the correct contract Igor spoke of? Or what was the contract Igor spoke of? I mean, could the finding could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. Thank you! Damn bear practically holding a gun to our heads. Oh. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Looked for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy. Teddy? <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Glasses? What are these glasses for? As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean... More for show. We just got here. 
If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. Uh -uh. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's that sound? Okay, I guess that works. Can Teddy really not fight? Try touching Teddy. Oh! No! Guess he cannot. <laughs> is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get. <laughs> oh yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wait! <laughs> what is this place? It looks just like. What's Oops. going on here? Fucking hell. I did it again. Some weird places have appeared here recently. Carry him and use him as a bat? Things That's are getting so, mean. so tangled. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, us. I can't stand too close, you know. I get in your way. I guess that's true. <sighs> hmm. Sus. Bit sus. Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why... How should Rock. I... I this is reality for the one who's here. I can't again. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. It's actually so fun doing that, to be honest. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Dun 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 I keep, happened? I keep doing it. Wait a second. Fuck! Can you turn around with it still capturing you? Not really. That's the farthest it goes. Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Oh, oof. Yeah. Huh? I mean, if I get like a better like tracking setup, then I probably could. Well, not probably. I could. There are ways to do that. But, yeah. You can also get, like, hand tracking as well, but that costs, like, $80, and I do not have $80 to spend on just hand tracking or whatever. So. sword and kill them <laughs> oh wait <laughs> so nah let's go oh yeah let's go Hell yeah. Persona! Another banger song incoming. Woo! Stay calm and listen. Okay, Some I am. Shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. I should probably read this out loud, but I kind of don't want to. Oh. 
keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. I, I forget if this game is like limited to 60 FPS because honestly it feels way smoother now that I have a better monitor. It doesn't feel like it's 60, it feels like it's more than 60. I mean sure you guys only see 60, but uh, Fuck! I didn't want to do that. I almost fucking died there. You did it, Sensei! Oh yeah. Level it up. Let's go, gamers. Let's go. Libby Libra has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona is the Nagi. Sorry. Whoa, what was that? Getting too into it. <laughs> Did I hear you say persona? Persona! I'm sorry. I went I mean, too high up in launch tracking. <laughs> you think I can do it too? Maybe. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling sensei. I'm troubling sensei. sensei. Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. Thank you, I thank you very much. Yeah. Bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Maybe. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> yep. Sorry. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Okay. Gotta investigate. Man. I wonder <laughs> what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually surprised I was still in our tracking. <laughs> it's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Uh-oh. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? How could she? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome enemy. child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. <laughs> Sound effects. Oh, it's boss time soon, I think. Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Hey, hey, hey. Is this hey, 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 hey. Senpai's dad? I'm gonna pet your ears. Go ahead. I like you headbands. You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? <laughs> These photos. <laughs> Hey, is this? <laughs> it's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? A scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is sitting, standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? 
that he was a real pain in the ass. Damn. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What Damn. Pain in the ass? This is horrible. This man, like, actually liked her. Who cares and then she about died. And then anyway. now he's finding out that she absolutely because of that hated him. Store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. That's horrible. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. Yours. Yeah. It's so sad. Yosuke? I feel Question so mark. sorry for myself. Boo hoo. <laughs> Boo hoo. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh shit. What? <laughs> How does that uh, work? Huh? Two Yosuke's? <laughs> two Yosuke's? <laughs> Who are you? I Imposter? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long, How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. <laughs> especially living out in the sticks. Sticks? What are you saying? Th that's not true. I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. wrong, yeah. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Why are you lucky this a bitch? Damn. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Maybe. Why's that? Because I am you. When the imposter is yourself? <laughs> you just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? Damn. The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? Damn. It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. Yikes. That's not true. What are you? Who are you? I am you, obviously. <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Cutscene. <laughs> That's right. Say it again. You're not me. You're nothing like me. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Well, I, 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 I can't run. Ah, uh, where is it at? There it is. <laughs> Use a face. Yes. Imposter. I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Or I'll crush you. Ow. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Okay. Let's hope I can kill this guy without dying. Oh, nice. 
bonk. Oh. Persona. Bonk. Yeah, well. Guard? Really? Alright. I'm, I'm going to guard myself then. What? Six damage. Damn. I thought I was like about to die, but <laughs> only six damage. Okay. I can live with that. Uh, he's charging up. I'm going to guard. Yeah, I figured. Bonk him. Bonk him real good. Guarding? Here comes an attack. Defend your I'm doing that. You're getting to be a real pain. Alright, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. Please don't. I don't wanna die. Okay. Um that. We get a one more, and then we use medicine. Nice. That's how we do it. Ow. That's how the gamers do it. That's how the gamers do it. Bonk that guy. I'm doing that. Ow. Six damage, wow. Last attack, maybe? Let's go! Let's go! You felt the random of the inside. I love it up. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Accept it. Accept it. Uh. You're still yourself. Myself. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. I can stick my tongue out because I'm... I don't know. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life hardships, the persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. We heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. 
So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. <laughs> hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. This world killed them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. Mm -hmm. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Hmm. We won't know unless we try. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things. Mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Yeah. We have an investigation to do, right? after all. We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Yeah, of course we will. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. True. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time. So we can meet up. Okay. From the same place? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. <laughs> got it? Yeah, got it. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> Squish! <laughs> Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Uh! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
That moment when the bear throws you out of the Stevie. Oh, of course we did. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow! Damn! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! <laughs> I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you both! Didn't try to. I I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. I mean, it wasn't our fault that the rope got cut. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm going to go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. All right. Near the floodplain while walking home from Juness. Mm hmm? Chukiko. Just oh. hug her? <laughs> Are you surprised to see me Hug dressed you. this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? Uh, kind of. Somewhat. I'm glad to hear that. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. Yeah, it's a bit scary. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Oops, I skipped the um. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, she's a real handful. I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. All right. Evening. Dad's late. Yeah, normal. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Yep. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Yeah, probably not. Can't be helped. Yeah, that's how it goes. He's a detective, so he's really busy. Anako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko is on TV, wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new <laughs> manager. Is it true you're still in high school? 
Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. True. Oh, I need to do the dishes. You decided to help out with the housework. Catches your eye. All right. Well, I think we're going to end it here for tonight. Um, I am going to be streaming Persona 4 Golden again tomorrow, same time, 10:30. Uh, just like the schedule says. So yeah. Um. I hope you guys uh, liked uh, hanging out with me, playing the game, and stuff like that. I had really a lot of fun. Got to talk to a lot of you guys in chat, and it was really fun. Uh, I, most fun I've had in quite a while. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for hopping in. And, uh, those guys. Yeah, I mean, guys, not... As in just, yeah, anyway, um, um, I hope you guys have a great, um, day, night, wherever you are, and, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys, uh, next time, well, tomorrow, <laughs> bye!